What's up guys, Minty Badger here. Sorry it's a little bit echoey. I'm using uh, my dining room because, oh, shaky laptop. Uh, I got my new laptop uh, and it is pretty awesome. Picture seems pretty clear uh, from what I can see. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, sorry, I'm just checking my phone is on silent. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Hence being in the, the dining room. What is happening today is, uh, I put a video up just about a week ago now, uh, telling you guys about new things that are coming to the channel, new uh, videos and content and stuff. That's still all going to be happening, like I say, give me a chance to get things set up. Um, but today I have like a list of things that have to be done. Um, and today I'm starting a new thing, and usually I do my gaming pickups, today it's going to be toy pickups. Uh, I've been hitting up quite a lot of, uh, over here in the UK, car boot sales and things like that, and picking up a lot of new, um, uh, figures, I guess. So, I'm just going to basically show you a few, show, show you guys what I picked up, uh, this was on Sunday there, and, yeah, just basically talk to you guys through it. But, like, the, the toy pickup video, the video I'm doing today, isn't going to be as, um, frequent as the gaming things, because I don't get to go and pick up like uh, toys and figurines as much as I really want to so bear with me on that but yeah so one of the first things I got and I'm going to wear this uh, wait on. sorry about disappearing that guy do you know what I've got a chair right next to me that I could just put the bag on Okay, so the first thing I got was this Batman mask. Oh, pretty awesome. The little woman uh, seemed to have taken a shine to me. And um, she gave me it pretty cheap, so yeah. There we go. Aha! So I think I'm going to wear this, um, you know, in my comic book videos and my uh, uh, figurine related videos and anything DC related. I'm Batman. Yeah. So we'll go with that. Uh, I will this all the whole way through this video because I'm rather attached to it, believe it or not. I wore it at the car boot sale. Almost 18 and I'm walking around with a Batman mask. Yeah. So let's see what I got. <coughs> okay, first things first, right off the bat. I picked up this big guy. <coughs> now, there's a size comparison. He's like, my head's pretty big and he's got the size of it, so for the comparison. He is one of the trolls. Uh, I'll just bring this down up. He is one of the trolls from Lord of the Rings. Um, you usually see them pushing the pillars, uh, the war machine pillars and that, and he actually makes some noises. Oh wait, just change the strap. So yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got like one of those rubber faces, so uh, it's more like it, the expression's a bit better. And he's got all these chains on him, and he's holding like these big, like I don't really know what they are. Like it looks like he's been chained up somewhere and just ripped his way out. <clears throat> so yeah, that was pretty awesome to find because I love anything to do with Lord of the Rings. Uh, so having one of the trolls uh, from Lord of the Rings is absolutely awesome. He will be perfect in my room. So yeah, one of the trolls, nice. <coughs> I picked up also a new Batmobile. Some of you guys may recognise this Batmobile from the animated series. This was the Mark 1 Batmobile from the animated series, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there, there was a few different um, Batmobiles in the animated series, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a Mark 1 pretty covered in white cloth because I cleaned all my stuff before uh, hand. And uh, I actually got this along with the bat mask, the woman sold it as like, she wasn't going to, she was going to sell this for a separate, but she gave me it in like a bundle. And this one actually has a switch at the bottom, and it lights up. Yeah, so it was pretty, I mean, rockets aren't in it, obviously, because when you buy things like a second hand, you really rarely get the rockets. But... To be honest, the actual Batmobile itself is in fantastic condition. All the original stickers are on it, uh, which I was really surprised at that none of the stickers were missing. Even the, the back stickers for the thrusters and that, they're all there. 
the seat belt is still there, uh, all the inside stickers, um, you can kind of see that, all the inside stickers are still in there, so yeah, that's pretty awesome, the fact that I got a pretty much complete battle wheel. Uh, and it's actually a battle wheel I don't have, I collect quite a lot of battle wheels, and it's actually one of them I don't have. Um, I got a little Batman glider. Um, <coughs> there it is. This is from 1992. Um, it actually looks as if it clicks onto something. I'm not sure if it came with like a Batmobile at some stage, but yeah. Uh, again, for a 1992 model, it is in absolute perfect condition. All original stickers are there. There is like nothing broken or marked on it. And when you press a little button on the back, ta-da! So yeah, you just put Batman in there. Oh, like I said, all the original stickers are even on the inside. Look, even the original Batman stickers on the wings, that's awesome. The the guy who sold them, uh, sold this to me, he, the stuff he had was in mint condition. Like, honestly, he was taking really good care of his stuff. So it was awesome to find that. So that would be a perfect addition to the, 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 my Batman room. Uh, the guy actually gave me this with it. This little Batman. Uh, I thought he was actually going to take it out, I thought it was just for display, but he actually gave me it with it, so you have to have it. And this Batman is actually from 1989, so this is from the original movie, but, uh, the Batman movie with uh, Jack Nicholson and Michael Keaton uh, as the Batman. So he's, you can tell he's pretty old. I mean, I got, an, uh, I got a Batman filled with my Batmobile, actually, this one here. <coughs> and I mean, you can tell the, the difference. I mean, he's like... the. the the whole paint work on them and like the face has got the sculpture and everything, the, the size as well. Uh, this one's from 1997, so this is one a little further on, but I mean, awesome Batman figures, definitely. Uh, what else did I get? I picked up a penguin and a poison ivy. Uh, these ones are a little more different from what I was used to seeing. <coughs> There's a pop tree poison ivy first. Oh, Chris Penguin. Uh, yeah, she's pretty cool, I must admit. She's really, really awesome. A big hand and everything. Uh, really haven't seen many figures like this before. These look like more of the, the newer series of uh, Batman figures. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty cool figures. So that was Poison Ivy, and I picked up a little Penguin. Uh, I'm assuming these are from the animated series because they really do look like it. He has actually a switch on his back that spins his hand, it sticks some things, but yeah, you get the gist. Yeah, that will. So, yeah, he, I'm, I'm assuming he came with a hat at some point, and maybe a cane or a sword, but yeah, obviously because it's second hand, but still, I mean, great quality, yeah, well, great condition, absolutely amazing condition. Um. I also, these, these videos are probably a little bit longer guys than what you're used to because obviously I'm showing everything off, but yeah. <coughs> this was an awesome find that I picked up, um, one of the smallest things that I picked up, but uh, really one of the hardest things that I had to haggle for. It is a 1979 Corgi um, Penguin car. Now, I did a bit of research on these when I got home after buying this little guy. I mean, you can see the size of him, he's like, where's my hand? Um, he's like a little Hot Wheels car, but I did some research uh, on these cars, and apparently they're a Super Friends, um, like, car series, where Wonder Woman had her own car, Joker had an ambulance, Batman had a car, Superman had a car, all different, yeah, characters had cars, and, uh, because it's Corgi, they're obviously much more sought after, because Corgi actually shut down, Corgi no longer, uh, is in existence, and, uh, obviously doesn't make cars anymore. And I was actually really shocked to find one in that great a condition where it had stick the original stickers uh, and the the paintwork isn't as damaged as you'd expect a 1979 car to be. Uh, like I said, the guy kept his stuff in perfect condition. So yeah, that was awesome to pick that up. Um, <coughs> back to another large item that I managed to pick up. Uh, this guy. And there's some fail, you held it there. Uh, this guy, who is one of the Nazgul? I bet, uh, see, I think the Nazgul, they are the Nazgul Riders, that's what I think, but they probably are the Nazgul. No, that Lord of the Rings fans, correct me down below, I am a Lord of the Rings fan, but I can't remember things very well, because I haven't seen them quite a while. So, yeah, I got him a little bit cheaper, 
because he's missing a head. I don't know if you can see that, there's like a hole in there uh, for where his head should be, but it's not there. I know they don't really have facing head problems, but I mean, it's a point after all. And he had two sword sheaths, and the, way the sword wasn't there, so I got a lot of money knocked off this guy. But he is like, just in size comparison to the troll. He is like just a little bit taller, but yeah, uh, still an absolute awesome for the little wood, incredible in my room somewhere. Um, right, let's see everything that fell there. I managed to pick up the original. Uh, I was really shocked at this because the guy gave me it pretty cheap. It is a 1983. Uh, I think these are like. The, these are the troopers that uh, rid the, the, the were on the little hover bikes, uh, and they had the snipers as well. The, the name absolutely escapes me. And I think these are from the Empire Strikes Back. These these uh, troopers. Not entirely sure because I'm not an absolute nerd about the the, the older movies and more into the, the newer ones. Don't get me wrong, the older ones are amazing, but uh, I know for a fact these from the original series uh, that. I can't remember who made these guys, but yeah, a, a 1989, um, sorry, 1983 uh, figure is definitely one of the ones, you can even tell from these ones nowadays to the original line, uh, the new ones I've got nowadays, this guy definitely stands out, he's one of the originals, so it's great to have him for the collection. And last but not least, certainly my most favourite things I found at the carpet sale, uh, absolutely stoked about these guys because I always keep my eye out. I can never find any of these guys. Uh, you, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a movie out, oh god, was it 1990? Maybe one the date on. 1998. And there was a movie brought out called Small Soldiers. Now, if you guys who don't know what this movie is, I highly recommend you go see it. Uh, go and pick it up somewhere and watch it. It is about. Uh, these toys, uh, the Commando Elites, uh, led by Major Chip Harrop, who are the soldiers, and then the Gorgonites, who is led by Archer, and these are two races, and they're actual like, little toys that had actually come to life and start fighting each other. Absolutely incredible film, love it, uh, one of my favourite childhood movies, and I always look out, uh, look out for, look out, uh, look out, grenade, uh, I always look out for... I've lost my train of thought now. Always look out for the small soldiers uh, figurines because they're highly, highly sought after. They're very, very collectible. And I managed to find two uh, at the car boot sale. I found Major Chip Hazel, and he is in pretty great condition considering. Uh, his hair's been a little bit chewed on, but great likeness. As you can see, some kids have been playing with him pretty well because his knuckles are all scraped, the paintwork has come off. He should have like a missile launcher there, but obviously second hand, this is probably the best you're going to get him unless you buy him box. Uh, his shoes are a little bit warm and stuff, and his uh, his ass is a little bit warm. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, what can you do? Great, he's still in great condition to be fair. Uh, so Major Chip Hazard, and I managed to also find, I actually only found him, and then I, the, the guy had like a full stock over of and, and figures, and I kind of gave up the search, and I just looked at the last minute, and I seen more, like, commando pants, and I thought to myself, that's got to be another, uh, small soldier. <clears throat> so, this is, like, I can't remember this guy's name, something bazooka. Uh, he's, like, the artillery man in the movie. I got him. And the awesome feature about this, he's in great condition as well, I've got to admit, the, the paint actually isn't as worn down uh, on this one as Chip Hazel does, I mean, they get, I mean, got to admit, they look incredible. Bring back so much many memories, but the the cool feature about this guy is because he's the artillery expert. You just flip his head round, and a can comes. Uh, it swaps over to a can, which has his face in the front. There, it's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, these are definitely my most. I mean, even though the Batman stuff uh, was awesome, these are my two most favourite finds uh, for that car. But so when I'm hoping when I go back this week again, I find some more. Um, because, like I said, they're highly sought after, uh, and they're incredible for them to have, they're so, so, so cool. So, yeah, uh, so many childhood memories.
If you haven't seen the movie, go get it. Small Soldiers, absolutely incredible film. You will fall in love with it. Uh, but these guys, uh, for figurines, very, very collectible. So, yeah, guys, that is my first uh, toy pickups. Um, I showed off my, some Lord of the Rings I got, some Batman, some Small Soldiers, some Star Wars. Pretty good mix all in, got to admit. Uh, I do try and mix my own Batman Master Force. Uh, I do try and mix it pretty well. I will probably be wearing this mask in like uh, a future like video to do with Batman or like sideshow collectibles. Anything DC related, the Black Batman mask will probably be worn. Uh, that is a warning. So you don't just jump in the video and think, what the hell is he wearing? I've been warned. This will be worn. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first of all, uh, toy pickups, I guess. Um, I haven't done, like, a showing off of, of toys for a while. I think Christmas and New Year was my last one I did. Uh, but yeah, it's like at 16 minutes now, so I better wrap this up. Um, like I said, guys, these videos will be a little bit longer because I want to kind of show off every cute little thing I got. And I like to talk a little bit about the things I picked up. Um, so yeah, my first, like, toy pickup. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you put in the comment section below what was your favourite thing I picked up. Definitely for me, the small soldiers. I probably admit a lot of you out there will pick the small soldiers because they are awesome, awesome things to have. Um, but yeah, guys, as ever, give the video a thumbs up, smash the like button, show me some support. Uh, show some support. I mean, the Batman mask has got to get a like in itself. Come on. Um, and comment section below, like I say, let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, click that subscribe button up there, or down there, or there, or there. I don't know what it is. Um, it's usually top. Uh, I'm always happy to see new people uh, joining and you will usually get wacky videos like this from me uh, all the time because this is the sort of thing I, I find and do. Um, but yeah, share my videos as always guys, let the, the, the interwebs know that I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, and follow me on the Twitters. So until next time guys, uh, when I bring you another random video, um, I don't know what it'll be. I, I, I can't say because I have no idea my help. But thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I've been the Minty Badger slash Batman. And until next time, guys, peace out. Oh, that's so cool.